Hey guys, Remote Animation here and we have some good news. Well, there's probably more bad news than good news, but I think I'll start with the good news first. And if you have no clue what's going on, for the past two months working for an average of three hours a day, well, two hours a day if we factor in the days I did absolutely nothing, we have managed to make a 3D modeling rigging animation app with ray tracing. But the rigging and animation system isn't yet ready, so it's just a 3D modeling app with ray tracing, which is surprisingly a lot more boring than it sounds. But it looks really good, so that also counts as a win. And if for some odd reason you thought about me in the past two weeks, you must have also thought that maybe I was out there making some mind blowing feature for reckon and if you by chance did that you are absolutely right although they may not be mind-blowing but they are still features and although they may be very basic they are still features and the first modeling tool i got to work on on this session is the slice tool and also the ability to use the multi-selection in edit mode and the extrude tool was working as it should and modeling was starting to feel natural and if you notice anything that looks visibly off in the app, chances are I probably already know but at the time I didn't just care enough to change it. And I'm probably just gonna pile it up for later. And 2 months into development, the render speed was actually starting to bug me and I knew something had to be done. So I eventually came up with something and it didn't work the first time and it didn't also work the second time. Well the plan was to divide the scene into like shadow segments and then blur those segments into each other and the fact that this is so early in the video is a clear indicator that it didn't stick around very long so i built out a quick version to test on another android device instead then after installing and opening the app it, the performance was actually really good compared to the other device and as an added bonus i added in a new modeling tool which was the sub divide tool and also a smooth tool to go with it and when i say i added in a modeling tool i don't just mean i pressed a few buttons and suddenly the tool was there. Like that simple tool actually took a staggering 15 minutes to code. Not because the code was long but because it doesn't normally work the first time. And then I added in some extra modeling tools like copying of faces and also detaching of faces into separate models. And then I had a gut feeling that someone out there might want to extrude the line so I made that too. And for the people with more chaotic ways of modeling I made a tool for making faces out of vertices and also a quick way to detach those vertices as well and at this point i wasn't actually feeling this render engine anymore because of the time that it took to render so i decided to make a second render engine as an alternative and for what i had in mind i would specifically need to learn how to write shaders which has a very simple programming language of its own and this would actually help me run millions of calculations in real time then i also linked my material code with unity's default material system to get the materials to display in real time also although illusion looks far better this was actually faster and if you think this looks just like prisma 3d you're absolutely right because it's practically unity's default lighting system and the good part is that it works in real time and to make this more unique and appealing i'm not going to leave it like this i actually have an idea on how to modify it to make it look better and after tweaking unity's render code i managed to forge my own lighting system from the default lighting system and although it didn't look as good as illusion it was faster than illusion could ever be and it was really easy to modify so i quickly fell in love with this system so i molded up a quick scene to see how the engine works with multiple objects long story short green lights didn't really work well with this system and for some reason the engine kept giving off some form of color decay and i knew i had to fix it and just a quick comparison this is what this scene looks like in illusion engine and this is what the same scene looks like in gradient and just as we can see the difference in rendering speed we can also see the difference in quality and the gap in terms of quality difference is not very small but with the right settings gradient does have its strengths but it also has a lot of flaws and for some scenes it actually looks 
somehow decent and the major issue is that the system wasn't very good at mixing colors and if for some reason you think it doesn't look that bad it's probably because you're only seeing it mix white and another color this is what it looks like when it's mixing two colors where white is not involved and no it's not actually as difficult as it looks it's actually very easy to fix but i'm afraid that's all we have time for and at the point of recording this clip it has been over a month since the last video as for the past month I've been very busy with real life stuff considering how this is a solo project if I'm busy the app technically remains stagnant so the process might be a little slower than expected so yeah if this video gets three likes we'll start up the rigging system and maybe do a little bit of animation